Welcome back to Math Husay Math 10 Tutorial. In this lesson, you will learn another types of sequences. Let's start. Let's have a recall of the types of sequences that we have learned in this module. In the previous lesson, you have learned that arithmetic sequence is a sequence where each term after the first can be obtained by adding a constant number called the common difference. And we can find the nth term of any arithmetic sequence using this formula. a sub n equals a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. An example of arithmetic sequence is 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, where the common difference is 2. On the other hand, a geometric sequence is a sequence where each term after the first can be derived by multiplying the preceding term by a non-zero constant number called the common ratio. We can find any term in a given geometric sequence using this explicit formula. a sub n equals a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. The sequence 4, 8, 16, 32, and 64 is a geometric sequence with a common ratio of 2. This time, you will learn another types of sequences and that is harmonic sequence and Fibonacci sequence. Let's start with harmonic sequence. What is a harmonic sequence? A harmonic sequence is a sequence such that the reciprocals of the terms form an arithmetic sequence. The sequence 1 third, 1 fifth, 1 seventh, 1 ninth, and 1 eleventh is a harmonic sequence. When we get the reciprocal of these terms, the sequence becomes 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, which is an arithmetic sequence with a common difference of 2, right? So, we know that the common difference is 2. So, the next term in this sequence will be 13. So, going back to our harmonic sequence, since we know that harmonic sequence is just a reciprocal of arithmetic sequence, now, what is the next term in the sequence 1 third, 1 fifth, 1 seven, 1 ninth, 1 eleven? Since we know that in the arithmetic sequence 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, the common difference is 2, so the next term must be 13 in the given arithmetic sequence, right? So, if we get the reciprocal of 13, the next term of this harmonic sequence should be 1 over 13. In solving for the nth term of harmonic sequence, we can use the explicit formula of arithmetic sequence a sub n equals a sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 times d then we just get the reciprocal of the given result let's take these examples number one what is the next term in the sequence 1 4 1 8 1 12 1 16 First, we get the reciprocal of this given harmonic sequence, and that is 4, 8, 12, 16. So we know that the common difference is 4, right? So the next term in the given arithmetic sequence should be 20. Now we get the reciprocal of 20. 
Then the next term of the given harmonic sequence, 1 fourth, 1 eighth, 1 twelfth, 1 sixteenth, should be 1 over 20. Therefore, the next term in the sequence is 1 over 20. How about example number 2? Given the arithmetic sequence negative 20, negative 26, negative 32, and negative 38, find the first eight terms of the corresponding harmonic sequence. In this problem, since the given is arithmetic sequence, so we will just get the first eight terms of the arithmetic sequence. Then we get the reciprocal of each term to find the given harmonic sequence. So, since we are adding negative 6 to each term to get the succeeding term, we have the first 8 terms of arithmetic sequence. Negative 20, negative 26, negative 32, negative 38, negative 44, negative 50, then you add negative 6 again, you get negative 56. Then finally, you get negative 62 by adding 6 to negative 56. So these are the first 8 terms of the given arithmetic sequence. Now, we want to find the first 8 terms of the corresponding harmonic sequence. So we just get the reciprocal of these terms. So the harmonic sequence should be negative 1 over 20 negative 1 over 26, negative 1 over 32, negative 1 over 38, negative 1 over 44, negative 1 over 50, and negative 1 over 56, and lastly, negative 1 over 62. How about if we want to find the nth term of the given harmonic sequence. So let's take example number 3. What is the 15th term in the sequence? 1 third, 1 fifth, 1 seventh, 1 ninth, and 1 eleven. Since the reciprocal of this is 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, and the common difference is 2, then we know that the first term is 3, the common difference is 2, and we are talking about 15 terms in the given sequence. Now, as I said a while ago, to find the nth term of any harmonic sequence, we will use the explicit formula of arithmetic sequence, a sub n equals a sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 times d. Then, if we have the result, we will just get its reciprocal. So, substituting these values, we have a sub 15 equals 3 plus the quantity of 15 minus 1 times 2. So, 15 minus 1, we know that 15 minus 1 is 14. So, we simplify the right side of the equation. We have 3 plus 28. That's because 14 times 2 is 28, right? So, Adding 28 and 3, so the result is 31. So the 15th term of this arithmetic sequence is 31. So again, since we want to find the 15th term of the harmonic sequence, we will get the reciprocal of 31. So the reciprocal of 31 is 1 over 31. So the 15th term of the harmonic sequence 1 third, 1 fifth, 1 seventh, 1 ninth, 1 eleven should be 1 over 31. This time, we will discuss the next type of sequence, and that is the Fibonacci sequence. What is a Fibonacci sequence? A Fibonacci sequence is a sequence where its first two terms are either both 1, big sabihin, you can start with 1, 1, or 0 and 1. 
and each term thereafter is obtained by adding the two preceding terms. The examples 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8 and 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8 and so on are Fibonacci sequences. In the first sequence, the first term is 1 and the second term is 2. So to get the next term, just add the two preceding terms. So 1 plus 1 is 2, right? 1 plus 2, you get 3. 2 plus 3, you get 5. 5 plus 3, you get 8. So in example number 2 naman, you have 0 and 1. So, you add 0 and 1, you get 1, the next term. So, to get the next term, 1 plus 1, 2, then, and so on. So, you have to add the two preceding terms to get the succeeding term of the given Fibonacci sequence. Fibonacci sequence is a type of sequence which is visible in the natural world. Some of nature's most beautiful patterns like the spiral arrangement of sunflower seeds, the shape of the snail shell, and how a pair of rabbit reproduce all contain Fibonacci numbers. It is interesting to note that the ratio of successive Fibonacci numbers like this one approaches or approach the phi which is 1.618, known as the golden ratio. Interestingly, the golden ratio is also visible in many works of arts and architecture, like Leonardo da Vinci's art, Mona Lisa, the Parthenon, and the Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris, France. To learn more about Phi and the Golden Section in Architecture, I'll leave the link in the description so you can read the said article. This time, let's find the next term in the Fibonacci sequence. Example, what is the next term in the Fibonacci sequence? 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, and so on. So, our Fibonacci sequence starts with 1 and 1. So, to get the next term, we have to add these two terms. 1 plus 1 is 2. So, to get the next term, you have to add 1 and 2. So, you'll have 3. So, the next term is 5 because 2 plus 3 is 5. Now, to get the next term, 3 plus 5, that's 8. Now, since we're looking for the seventh term of the given Fibonacci sequence, so we have to add 5 and 8. So, 5 plus 8 is 13. So, the next term in the Fibonacci sequence, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, is 13. We can find the next term in the given Fibonacci sequence using the formula f sub n equals f sub n minus 1 plus f sub n minus 2, provided that the number of terms in the given Fibonacci sequence should be greater than or equal to 3. So, we try to use this formula in solving this problem. Since we want to find the seventh term of the given Fibonacci sequence, we have, so we have f sub 7 equals f sub 7 minus 1 plus f sub 7 minus 2. So, we have f sub 7 equals f sub 6 plus f sub 5. So, meaning you're adding the terms, the fifth term and the sixth term to get the seventh term because that's how you get the succeeding term of a given Fibonacci sequence. So, in the given sequence, we know that the sixth term is 8 and the fifth term is 5. So, when you add, f sub 7 is equal to 13. 
Again, we can use this formula if we know the terms in the given Fibonacci sequence. How about if we want to find the 100th term of the Fibonacci sequence? Here is a Matt Husay Matt tutorial fun fact. We can find any term of the Fibonacci sequence using Binet's formula. So the formula is F sub n equals 1 over the square root of 5 times the quantity of 1 plus the square root of 5 all over 2 raised to n minus the quantity of 1 minus square root of 5 all over 2 raised to n. Or this is equal to 1 over square root of 5 times the quantity of phi raised to n minus the quantity of the negative phi raised to negative n, where phi is the golden ratio, which is approximately equal to 1.618. Let's try this formula to find the next term of the given Fibonacci sequence. What is the next term in the Fibonacci sequence 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8? We have solved this a while ago, right? So, using the Binet's formula, we will substitute n with 7 because we are looking for the 7th term. So, we will use our scientific calculator to find this value. So, we input 1 over square root of 5 times the quantity of 1 plus the square root of 5 all over 2 raised to n. Your n is 7. So, n is 7 plus, uh, minus the quantity of 1 minus the square root of 5 all over 2 raised to 7. So you see that the result is 13. So when, once you substitute 7, so you'll have f of 7 is 13, which is similar to the results that we had a while ago. So if you want to find the 100th term of any Fibonacci sequence, you can use the Binet's formula. This lesson will also be discussed when you reach college in mathematics in the modern world. So don't forget the Binet's formula. Try these examples and discuss your answers with your peers. If you're done, share your answers in the comment section. If you have learned something from this video, give it a thumbs up, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Remember, ang sikreto para maging mathusay, matuto, at magensayo. Watch the next episode and learn how we can solve problems involving arithmetic sequence. Bye!